welcome back everybody this is quote here playing a little bit more of the binding of isaac and uh, we are going to just jump right in with an isaac run here and <clears throat> excuse me a little bit i am a little bit under the weather here so it's going to be a little more gruff as far as my voice is concerned hope you guys don't mind that too much i will try my best to avoid coughing horribly into the microphone um, pretty sure you guys can't get sick over the internet, so you guys should be safe. Um, I'm just going to put up with a little bit of a stuffy nose. Um, so basically, from what I could see here, um, we're already starting out kind of on a bad foot here without finding an item room or boss room. Very quickly, we're going to be kind of limiting our reroll potential, and not really, not a very really big fan of this type of room right here, because it's very easy for me to make stupid mistakes like such, which result in me taking damage stupidly. And I'm not very good at the diagonal attacking, as you can see. So I'm hitting the other guy far more than I'm hitting the one I'm actually aiming for. Alright, there that is. You've already taken red heart damage, it's really not all that good. We'll take the, the pill, which is a tears upgrade, which is fairly acceptable. Um, I'm thinking about this. We've already taken red heart damage, so it doesn't hurt us to go into the curse right now. Are those both tears upgrades? They are both tears upgrades. That was pretty amazing. So three tears upgrades within as many rooms. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, I could check for the secret room, but I, I would only get one of the hearts. So we're going to actually do this. I'm walk back in, and then take both of these hearts right now. Getting us almost back up to full. And probably worth it. I mean, we lost our Devil Room chance on this XL floor, which is kind of shitty, but it may be worth it overall for those three tier upgrades. Now our rate of fire is pretty, incre pretty incredible for a level one. So if we can get a damage upgrade or something to go along with it, we'll be in a very good place. Um, we'll consider that Tinnadrock. Gotta keep track of where that is. But with these XL floors, I don't like to waste my bombs prematurely. Especially when it's early on like this, when we get an XL floor on like the first floor of the game. You know, it's going to be kind of difficult to uh, manage your inventory here. Uh, telepills. It just doesn't do anything. Okay. Well, I was, I'm was. i just glad it wasn't the IM error room. I was hoping it would dump me right into a secret room and or the uh, item room, which would save me a, uh, a key. But no such luck. It just threw us into a random room that we aren't going to be using, so that's fine. Um, we are finding our first item room here. All right. Took a stupid damage there. Although I'm not really sure how best to avoid that. If I had gone forward, I would have gotten hit by the flies. If I had not, I you know I got stuck in the corner. So either way, I kind of lost there. I don't know. I, I imagine a better as player would have probably like maneuvered a little bit and been able to kill all the flies, but not me this time. So we're going to come across our first upgrade, which is a range upgrade. I'm going to re-roll it. Uh, Wiggle Worm. I'm going to take Wiggle Worm. It's a tears upgrade, so it does increase our speed even more so. And obviously the animation makes it so it's easier to hit things in our way. Seems acceptable to me. So let's, uh, let's take these guys out one at a time here. They're not dropping uh, any bombs, which is a little disappointing. I was hoping that they would be they would give me a chance at some bombs here in one of the corners, but that's fine. What we want to do right now is build up our rerolls again, so that way when we find the other item room, we're able to do so, and or both of the boss rooms. There's another tinted rock right here. So there's two tinted rocks we could potentially blow up. I think that's not where the... I, I was thinking that might be the secret room, but I don't think that's where the secret room is, which is what annoys me a little bit. All right, that's going to be mini mush. I don't want to take that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that where it is. It's not horrible. It's just basically a speed upgrade, but it just doesn't feel very necessary with what we currently have. And I'd rather not take that. Uh, the only downside to Wiggle Worm, and maybe I shouldn't have taken it right away, is it is a special item. So we might have you know been better off getting it at the end of the level. But it's a little too late now. Uh, special items, of course, are a class of item that makes it difficult to get another class of that item in the same run. So here we go. Uh, let's just try the boss, the first boss here. Monstro. I'm thinking that if you know something re-rollable, then we'll just do it. If it's not, 
then we can um, go right on into the boss room itself, and we can consider whether or not we want to re-roll the item room afterwards. We could always go back and take mini motion. All right, we're gonna take the health upgrade. <coughs> I'm not too upset about that. So let's see what we have waiting for us in here. Famine. So we're gonna have to take this. We're not gonna be able to re-roll it. So we are gonna be re-rolling mini motion most likely. Uh, unless we come across a secret room with an item in it or something like that, I, I would imagine that's what, how we're gonna handle it. Uh, Wiggle one makes this boss incredibly easy, along with our tools upgrades. It's probably a little more powerful than the average level 1, and it's very disappointing that we had to take red-hard damage to get it, because now we're going to kind of sacrifice our devil room chances, but that's okay. Uh, we can't re-roll that, so I'll just take it. Um, if, it if he was the first boss of the two boss room, then yes, we could, I believe, is the way it works, but once he's the final boss, then only his item pool is available to you in that room. So there would be no way to get anything different. So let's reroll Mini Mush. Uh, the, we're gonna take the relic. Uh, that's uh, gonna be pretty amazing as far as first floors go. And I think we can potentially find a secret room here. I'm gonna explore the rest of the floor anyway. These early levels are, are easy enough that I'm not overly threatened. And it will give us a chance for the relic to spit out spirit hearts at us, which is pretty much as good as we can hope for. <clears throat> so once we see the entire floor here, I think we'll try to take a shot at an item room perhaps, or maybe just collect those tinted rocks that we found along the way and see if we get like a damage upgrade such as the small rock. Uh, we're almost done with the floor overall, it, it would seem. Um, labyrinth floors, of course, are much larger than regular floors, but you, you early, if you get a, like, an XL floor on level 1, it's going to be a lot smaller than XL with the depths or whatever. So, this specific XL floor, not overly, overly large as far as these things go. So, I actually think I might go for the Tinted Rocks and not worry too much about the rest of them. I think there's at least two. I just got to remember where they are. I think there's one here. Didn't work as well as I hoped. So let's do this. That's disappointing. Alright, well let's try the one other one. There is one other tinted rock, I believe, back this this way. Let's see, I think it's this way. It's not this way. Where the heck was it? I know it's around here. I'm not completely crazy. There it is. Try to place it right there. Didn't work as well as I hoped. But we did get a bomb and our spirit heart back, which is pretty much as good as we can hope for. And I'm going to try right here for the secret room. You know what? Didn't work. Okay. It was between that and down here. Either way, I think we probably would have uh, missed it. It could be, you know, in a couple different places here in addition to those, so no guarantees. I just figured I'd take a quick swing at it. Maybe it was a stupid move. But down we go. Pretty successful floor as far as these things go. No devil room. But we have spirit hearts and that's going to lend us the opportunity to potentially find a devil room on this floor. And another XL floor is a little disheartening. Not that these things are bad, but we don't have any consumables again, so having an XL floor means the potential to leave several item rooms on the table, plus we're going to have a lack of shops. We weren't able to visit one on the last floor because of the lack of keys and money, so on this floor, we're going to be in really tough shape. Uh, an early key here will help, but we could really use some damage. Our tiers upgrades are all nice and all well and good, but eventually, you know, eventually it's going to be nice to be able to do you know, some damage in a single shot as opposed to having to hit someone a bajillion times to do anything of value to them. Oh, there's the relic. As you can see, that can be very useful over the course of the game here. There's a golden tooth in here. I feel like this room is more dangerous right now than it should be. 
just with the way that the walkways are. Thanks for the free money. Ignore the eternal fly. And crack the sky, my favorite item in the entire game. Could you said could you sense my sarcasm? Oh and shoot the whoop. That was stupid. Well, we're gonna re-roll that. No question about it. Complete garbage. Just a little bit of a trick to get rid of those eternal flies. The poops do not respawn once you destroy them, and the eternal flies, if you walk out of the room while they're in there, they will disappear. Uh, something I learned recently, but it is a nice little trick to clear out those flies from a room that you might need to go through uh, several times. Uh, you can just free them all, you don't even have to fight them, and just leave the room, and they'll all disappear. Pretty useful. Rather not run into any stupidly again. And we should be pretty close to another miter drop. Here's another example. That won't be back anymore. Nor will that. Alright, so let's go re-roll that room now. Hopefully we'll get something a little more useful than shoot the whoop on this one. And I realize that taking a special item such as oh we shouldn't have that's fine, I mean we're not going to take it but it's going to reduce the amount of, I believe it would reduce the amount of hits the relic would give us and even if it doesn't reduce that it also potentially turns it into brother Bobby which actually would negate its ability entirely so, um, yeah, the holy water is glitched and really there's no purpose in taking it. Alright, that was really stupid and really annoying. Oh, he just got hit twice, are you serious? Really frustrating stuff, guys. Um, now we are one hit away from losing our devil room chance, or you know, losing the majority of our devil room chance. You always sort of have a chance, but... I want to punch someone right now, and by punch, I mean shoot tears profusely at these butt lickers. Alright, so we're not going to get a devil room on this run. That's pretty much a given. It's possible that, you know, we could get a joker card or something that might allow us to deal with the devil. We do have a good start anyway, though, so I'm still confident in our chances. It's just very frustrating to lose that opportunity so early with these double rooms because these XL floors you miss a single, uh, you get hit a single time, and your chances of getting a double room is pretty much negligent. And at that point, uh, there's so many good, you know, strong items in the deal with the double rooms that your run can basically be annihilated by that. I don't even know what I got hit by there. I'm just accepting the fact that I am going to take a lot of damage for no reason. Alright, so we can go re-roll that room again. I think we probably could have re-rolled it last room, but I'm getting a little distracted by the, uh, the damage I'm taking stupidly. So let's head all the way back, and we're pretty much like two cents away from what would be an appropriate shop visit as well. Um, which would lead us to another hard decision, but before we get to that, what I want to do is make sure that we have an opportunity to reroll this shop, uh, this item room into something of value to us. Right now, we've reached, I think we've hit like three pretty terrible items. Um, so holy water is gone, mom's pad, this is like the room of every bad item of all time. And the bad thing is we could potentially get shoop the whoop again if we go through all the items. It's unlikely that's going to happen, but um, unless you pick it up, it's not out, out of the, the pool for good. It's only out of the pool until we see every item in the game, in which case, or every item in that pool. And since there's like eight pools, it's potential that we could get like, you know, the other nine items and then see Mom's Pad again, which would be really, really disappointing. Um, not Mom's Pad, um, shoop the whoop is the one. That well pretty unfair. I don't know if that was poor player, just kind of unfair that I really had no opportunity at all to escape from that. 
but at this point it's all moot and we're, we've taken enough radar damage that, you know, we have no chance at a devil room, so whatever, you know, we can play a little more risky, I suppose, try to get, get through the game a little quicker. Um, not that that's necessarily recommended, but we do have at least one heart that I can see on the, on the uh, floor here. I'll replenish us. Oh, man. There's my relic drop. It's one room too late. We're not going to open this chest right now. If we have fair keys later on, which is a rarity, then we will consider it. Didn't get any spirit arch from that, I was kind of hoping I would, but I got enough keys that I actually don't feel bad about opening this anymore. Lots of money. And now a shop is, it definitely seems like it's in the cards. And we can go right back and we can check the shop on the way to the item room. And I realize that, you know, we're pre-rolling this item room so many times that it's going to eventually uh, get a little dull, but you know what, you know, we have to take advantage of every advantage that we have. Um, and press those advantages as, as hard as possible. And in this case, the one advantage that we have that's really annoying. With all the money we have, we're not going to see another shop. And, you know, we might see one other shop for the rest of the game. It's really frustrating. I mean, it is what it is, but we get all this money and now we just fight greed. But, um, as I said, you got to press your advantage as much as you can. If we're not going to get Devil Room for the rest of the game, then I need to make these item rooms count. So far we've done okay for ourselves as far as that's concerned. We need to continue pressing that advantage. We walk out with five cents more, so so on and so forth. But we do lose a spirit heart over the course of this, which is really annoying. Luckily the relic will hopefully replenish our supply as we go. But still not something I would prefer. So something other than mom's pad, please, please. Uh ten bombs. I'm going to potentially reroll that as well. Getting a lot of mediocre items, the 10 bombs is okay, but I'd really prefer something a little more game breaking at this point. Um, if this is the first floor, I would have probably taken 10 bombs just to give yourself a head start with the bombs. We have three bombs right now. I'm not really using them all that much. I think I'll try here, I guess, for the secret room. Um, just to see if it's there. And Transcendence is a, is, a nice, is a nice item that could potentially help us a lot over the course of this run. Of course, Transcendence is a passive uh, flying upgrade. Most uh, flying upgrades provide some some other ability or some speed or something like that or change your tiers. Transcendence is the pure flying ability. All it does is literally give you the ability to fly, um, and it, it doesn't do anything else. Um, but I like it, and I'm happy that we picked it up. We could have re-rolled it potentially um, to try to get something along the lines of a devil reminder or something like that, which sometimes do spawn in the secret rooms rarely. But flying is too good an ability to pass up at this point, because that allows us to go right over all these ledges and things like that, avoid enemies, potentially cheese some enemies. Um, there are entire bosses of the game that can be beaten without taking any damage if you have flying. And so many rooms that are previously impossible become possible with flying. So this could actually save our run, potentially. And uh, it was definitely a stroke of luck to come up with it there. Now, we still have another item room, and we have the re-roll of this current item room in addition to two boss items that we're going to be able to pick up over the course of this run. So, two gone. Take out the rest of them. One more. And then they should all be gone now. I'm going to play this a little bit. Not a lot, but I'll play it down to like 15 coins. Just to try to do that and get a couple of spirit hearts. Flat penny, we will take that as well. This has been a pretty damn good slot machine so far. Tarot card, I'll see if the sun, alright, well. Let's keep that my gravy chain rolling. Uh, if we could get a joker card or something here, it would be like the greatest uh, slot machine of all time. Alright. Give it, I'll give it three more wax. Another spirit heart. Another spirit heart. One more. Tarot card, the world. Oh, we got that too. I'll just play the world, just because we're going to take the sun with us instead. They're basically the same, except the sun heals us. Um, and now we know where the bosses are. So let's 
let's get these greed heads out of the way very slowly and carefully. We could probably take on the first boss here without too much trouble. The bomb is always nice. Since we have, we're going to reroll after this boss, we might as well just take him on right now. It's going to be this, uh, the black bomb version of the hollow. Uh, the only difference, I think, with this version of the hollow is the fact that when his pieces break off, they turn into bomb flies or blow up or something like that. Not really the biggest difference. Um, it's still a fairly easy boss. This one doesn't even have a arena with which to try to get stuck and just... Oh man, I can't believe I got hit there. Just trying to be careful and just maximize damage. Um, so yeah, this is the, the bomb fly version. It actually, in some ways, hurts him because there's a lot of... There's a good chance that you might actually... Um, blow the bomb up. Oh my god, I'm just getting stuck in a corner like a complete moron right now. Waste of all these spirit arts. These nice spirit arts I just picked up from that nice slot machine. There's nothing that's good to say for me. So, we can just take this boss out at any time now. Shot speed upgrade, speed upgrade. We can potentially take the speed upgrade. I don't want to des definitively say no to that, so we'll leave it there for the moment. We still have another up uh, reroll available in our item room, which is the one thing that I'm kind of thinking about right now when it comes to what we want to do. More money is nice. We may take a nice little trip down memory lane, and by memory lane I mean back to the greatest slot machine of all time, where we got a lot of spirit arts and see what we can fetch from there. Maybe a Joker card to pop. I mean, there's a lot of things that could come out of there. Uh, judgment card would be nice. In either case, I want to visit the item room and see what's in there first. My only hope, my prayer, is that it's a good enough item that I can take it. Because right now... Right now we've come across a, just a run of items that I want to re-roll, and, you know, there's only so many rooms, even on an XL floor, with which to do that, so... Polyphemus. Yeah, we definitely take this. Um, although... It's kind of funny. Uh, it does lower our tier speed to zero. It'll increase our damage significantly enough that I think we kind of have to. Now all I can hope for is that we get a tier upgrade here of some variety. Hmm. <coughs> so uh, of course we have tier, you know, it's a faster polyphemus than average because of the fact that we did get tiers. Now what do we have? We have a speed upgrade and we have the... What did we, what did we even still have up here? It's been so long, I don't even remember what the hell I got on the last one. I know we re-rolled Crack the Sky into a couple other things, and I think the last time we re-rolled Holy Water into something of middling quality. Let me just check and see what that is. So we can decide between the speed upgrade and this. Uh, ten bombs. We're going to take the ten bombs. I think that's the right move. We could potentially find secret rooms and things like that as we go. Um, I might try a couple on the way there. Maybe we'll even find the secret room we're looking for. Although it's going to be tough because the secret room is a situation where it has to be touching only one other room. There's a couple places where that could be, so it's kind of a questionable. Uh, that's, I, I, love, I, put, I put it in one of the places where it can't. Alright, so it's not there. I figure we could try to find the second secret room. Maybe we'll be able to uh, pick that up. Uh, it could be right here. No, it can't. What am I thinking? It could be in the room next to that, on the upward side, but I, I, I like to assume that's not where it is. Uh, right here, perhaps? There we go. I'm just going to need the left hand, and I'm going to leave that because Flat Penny is more useful to me at the moment. And let's go back in the boss room here. We will not re-roll the speed upgrade yet. We are going to go right into the actual boss room. Uh, actually, we might check out the, uh, I think we'll check out the fortune teller again for a few moments here before we go ahead and commit ourselves. So again, we'll play down to 15. The world. Alright, 
Well, it's gonna blow up, so it's pretty much the end of what we can do with it. But we got another Spirit Heart out of it, which is pretty much, I'd say, pretty damn good mileage um, for that slot machine. We did fairly well with it, and it lasted quite a bit. Uh, so we have one more boss to fight, and then we will see how that goes. Gonna be the Hus. Hopefully our Polyphemus shots seem to be doing a lot of damage. There's gonna be a lot of them, so. It's one of the benefits of the tier upgrades we already did get. Uh, so our fire rate for Polyphemus is much higher than it normally would be, and the Wiggle Worm is making Polyphemus do some interesting things. Oh man, that was bad. That's what I wanted to do. The health upgrade would be really nice here. I'm guessing that's probably what we're going to get to breakfast or something. Nope, it's going to be range upgrade. We roll it to a health upgrade. Seems acceptable to me, and I'll take the speed upgrade, which is the, spoon, the wooden spoon. And now we'll head down to the next floor. Now, where do we stand as far as our run? I think we have an okay chance of doing something well. Don't do something good here. We have a couple. Uh, we have like one, you know, two more floors left essentially. There's Necropolis one, Necropolis two. What am I doing? Am I playing a game right now? Oh my god. Now oh, that's a very well timed Spirit Heart. Keeps us still in the running for not taking Red Heart damage in this run. In this floor, rather, obviously not in this run. We're taking plenty, we're taking more than our fair share in this run. Steven is a huge damage upgrade and extremely lucky. I believe it has like a one in a million chance to drop, not really that ratio, but fairly small chance to actually drop. So the fact that we did get it is just a huge luck factor for us playing in here, and that could be a sign of great things on this run. I don't know, maybe that uh, just means it's destined. All we have to do here is get like, you know, pull like a sacred heart or something like that and you know, we'll be we'll be good to go. So, with a single spirit art to go, I say we go right in. Loki is actually one of those bosses that you can completely cheese if you have the right items. I don't have them right now if you have spectral shots or something like that. Uh, Spirit of the Night makes Loki extremely easy. As it stands, still pretty acceptable with what we have right now. Uh, the only thing that's really annoying about the, this version of Loki is that his uh, annoying spike trap that follows you around the room very easy to take damage to that. <laughs> Took a shot there for that bomb bomb fly. And I missed it. Really disappointing. Oh my God. I could cry right now. I cannot, cannot freaking believe that I walked right into that. There's too many things to keep track of. I walked right into the spike trap. Health upgrade will work, I suppose. We're going to get two of them on this floor, which is fine. We'll search out the item room. Maybe it'll be something of value. It's just very, very annoying. Um, that was like our one best chance, I'd say. Super envy. That was our one best chance, I would say, to getting what we were looking for.
And once again, we failed with the devil chance, which is pretty much going to ruin our chances at the run if we don't find some sort of devil item here. We still need a closer. We have a polyphemus, which can go with a bunch of different things. But unless we get something to go with it, we're going to be in bad shape. And it's not looking like we're going to find what we're looking for. I can't believe we took that one half arc damage because I walked into the spike trap. That was like our one best chance, I'd say, to actually get a an angel run. All I can hope for right now is that we pick up some sort of teleportation card on the next floor and potentially teleport out of the mom room if we can do it without taking damage, but the likelihood of that happening is pretty damn low. Uh, what is this? Distant admiration? Forever alone? Well, I'll take it. I really want to find this shop here because we have plenty of money now. Okay, I'm just going to use my attack fly to try to kill this heart. I just have the one left. That hit me inside the rock. That's a little unfair. Well, here we go. Here is a item room chance. Mr. Mega. Say we roll that. Mom's eye. Eyes in the back of the head. I may take that yet. But if I have the chance to re-roll it, I probably will attempt it. I think the tears upgraded though, so it may increase our I don't think it increases tier speed though. I think it just gives us a back of the head shot, which I can't really see it being super useful at this specific moment, but you know, you never know. If we don't have any other rooms to go to at the end of this and we can't re-roll it, then we will, we of course, will take it. Uh, I won't be super upset about that, but... Looks like we're going to get at least one re-roll on this. So let's go back and try it again. Maybe it'll work better this time, who knows. Scapular. Part of me want wish. Part of me feels like Mom's eye would have been even better than this. Uh, we're probably going to end up taking scapular. Just when I think about what I have left here uh, to play with, scapular is pretty much all we have, uh, and we're probably not going to get another reroll on it. And if even if we did, I'm not sure it would necessarily be better. Scapular is just kind of the thing about scapular is it's just more of a last ditch uh, saving kind of item. It's not like a run making item, which is that's one of the reasons why I'm not really looking for it at this juncture. Alright, so unless Greed is in this shop, we have no chance of rolling or redoing it again. Um, we're going to get the coin purse. Which I say we take. We have enough coins, I really don't think. Is that, that actually might be a tier upgrade. Telepills, question mark, question mark, question mark, balls of steel. That's acceptable. Bombs are key. I don't really know if that does much for us. Telepills and tier upgrade. We're starting to get some speed on that. I'm going to take this, the Hermit is going to take us to the shop for free, so we can hold on to that for next floor, maybe, I don't know, it's difficult to say. Um, uh, let's hold on to Telepills for now. Let's uh, see what's in this room here. It's a single chest, two bombs in it, and we're going to Telepills out. So, is that acceptable? Yep, probably. I'm going to go grab Scapular and one of those other cards there. And we should be okay from there. Whoa. Okay. Grab the other bomb. Might as well. So, I have the Hermit and I have the Sun. I'm actually just going to take the Hermit. No, I think about it because that'll give us that chance that I was talking about. It is a instant teleportation 
that guarantees us to a room that will not take us out of the level which means that after the mom fight we could potentially use that to jump back to the shop which will in turn allow us to see if there is an angel or devil room waiting for us. We will take scapular and that's it for the level. Um, we're gonna go on to the next level. We did get a tier upgrade on this level in addition to a health upgrade um, and we're gonna get yet another uh, eternal heart before we leave so um, I feel like that is pretty much as much as you can hope for. I just wish that we had gotten uh, angel or devil deal on this floor and I think we could have we were really pretty much only one uh, one damage away uh, but we ended up taking stupid damage at the very end it certainly happens but it's not something to be proud of and we will move on to the next floor here and we see what we can get um, that's gonna be necropolis 2 it certainly happens Try to use my attack fly to do damage as, as they enemies circle here. And our polyphema shots are coming kind of like fast enough that they're actually becoming like you know useful again here. One more bomb flower should or bomb flower bomb fly should do it here. And we're gonna open up the chest room here. So these guys are, they took their time jumping there. Alright, these guys, <clears throat> with the damage you're doing right now, these guys are pretty damn easy. Um, I don't know that that pill upgrade is really better than the flat penny. We do probably have more. Uh, you know, we're gonna take it though, because pills we could potentially get something good out of the flat penny. Of course, we have enough keys that we're gonna not need any more for the rest of the run. So I'm really not that worried about that anymore. I love how the statues just shoot like one more after you kill all the enemies just to like see if they can like cheaply get you and you're not paying attention. Or, you know like Chubb did right there. Thanks Chubb for that. That was really nice of you. And the relic's gonna reward us with uh, one thing to one more spirit art to help us out and uh, these little flying greed on a sticks here are a little annoying but don't take no too much trouble it's gonna find a free secret room for me thank you very much um, it's gonna be the ultis the super secret room as well the top secret so we still can pick up the regular secret room somewhere else and this is gonna be a health upgrade I think we'll just take it um, I have trouble turning down health upgrades. Some people say, oh, you know, you know, you have to know when you have enough and then try to get other items. I don't know. But um, something just gives me a, a warm feeling when I see this, like, heart slash testicle bag is hanging from my head right now. It's kind of like the, uh, you know, like the, the, the gobbler on a chicken or whatever the hell it's called. Um, and I, I find it kind of funny. But moving forward... Um, I think that health in general is just going to help us out more. Uh, we will play this a couple times, see if we can get something of value in it, but I'm really not that worried about it. Um, I would like some spirit hearts, pretty much all I can think of that I would desperately desire at this point, at this juncture. And with the Hermit, I would really like the opportunity to uh, find Mom as soon as possible. We could potentially reroll the Mom room multiple times if that's the case, and you know what, that seems acceptable to me. Whoa. If we can find the mom fight as soon as we can here, that would be good. So let's check out the last shop in the game. It's going to be super greed. Thank you very much, game, for completely screwing me out of any shops at all. Um, but I'm glad that we are fighting him now as opposed to right after the mom fight when it might be a little more dire. Um, I say that with, like, greeds everywhere. 
Uh, it's pretty much as dire as it gets as far as greeds are concerned, but that's okay. Um, thank you, Cube of Meat, for saving my life. And by saving my life, I mean just you know blocking a single shot and saving me some damage. But it will save, it will preserve our chance at a God Room or Devil Deal on this floor, which is basically what we're playing for right now. I know I've mentioned it a lot. It really does help the run in a lot of ways to be able to have the opportunity to get an item of that caliber. It doesn't you know make or break the run. Ultimately, your gameplay is going to do that. You know, even if you get like you know mediocre or middling items. Your gameplay is going to determine whether or not that becomes something useful or not to you. But, you know what? The definitely does help, and getting those strong items definitely helps. So, the reason why people strive for them all the time, and the reason why I do, is because, not because I can't win without them, but because I like paths to victory. A lot of them are in those devil rooms. And in the god rooms. If I get Sacred Heart in this room, I'm pretty sure I'd have no chance to lose. So... I say that knowing that the game is going to give me Sacred Heart and then I'm going to lose. Um, but, really unfair, Chubb. This must be the faster version of Chubb. That was a little faster than I was expecting to deal with there. Temperance. Okay, we'll take the Hermit, though. <coughs> Where the heck's the mom fight? Not here. This is an arcade. But that's actually pretty acceptable. that to pay out with a uh, an item here. Uh. Bomb Star Key doesn't really help me or hurt me in this in any real applicable sense. It does hurt me in general, but not to a degree that's like, you know, over the top. Not doing many favors, uh, beggar man over there. I'm playing it a little risky here, but I want that health upgrade. Ball of Steel's a good find. Wouldn't mind some pretty flies as well. favors. <sighs> and eventually I'm going to find some hearts here. There, there you go. And eventually this is going to pay out with something. My luck that it's going to pay it with like a blood bag after everything. But it, it's doing this in an extremely slow way to just frustrate me to no end here. I've seen these blood bags you know, pay out in like 10 seconds. I've also seen them. Um, take the map. It seems better than the uh, than Scatoli. Now, if there's anything specifically wrong with Scatoli, pretty fly. Thank you very much. Give me another orbital. He doesn't really help me too much.
sweet hearts there, buddy. Come on, slot machine. Do me, do me, do me solid. Another pretty fly. That's that's what I call a solid. Get a full suite of orbitals now. Eventually, it's either going to pay out, explode, or give me some hearts, so I'm going to keep playing until it does. Man, this is a cold blood bank over here. Give me plenty in the way of money, but not giving me that blood bag or IV bag, and usually by now it would pay out. Nope, still nothing. They gave me plenty of money though. Keep playing. Right, and we'll eventually be done with this. I'm guessing once we get down to about 20 cents or so, if we haven't, you know, haven't done what we need to by then, I think we walk out um, just to just to save ourselves some, some time and aggravation. So 20 it is. That's going to be our number. Get any more red hearts between now and 20, we'll try the blood bank more. But if we don't, we'll try one last time. And then we'll walk out. Alright. One last time for the road. Nothing. An eternal heart. We will take it just because um, if it turns out we can't warp out of the boss battle or something weird happens, I don't want to be in a position where we don't have the ability to actually uh, cash that in. So. I will take it with me, but I'm not super happy about it. And there is another... Actually, let's just blow this one up. I, I don't have any intention of really playing it again after this. Another half heart. So we're getting back up to where full health is. Um, in the you know in the vicinity of it, at least. A little disappointing that no blood bag or IV bag dropped there. IV bag wouldn't have done much help for us, but I would have re-rolled it into another item. We did get the treasure map out of that whole ordeal, though, which is pretty good. And two pretty flies, so we have a full suite of orbitals. Uh, which is actually pretty excellent, and we're in a much better place right now than we were before. Uh, Telepills is is pretty much no different than the Hermit for us. Um, we'll leave it there, though. They don't really have any specific benefit to taking it either. No troll bombs. Alright, that's it for you. Thank you for the red heart there. Um, we have to get to this boss battle. We we're right about there. <laughs> All right, we're going to take cancer. Look at that fire aid for Polythemus. We're gonna probably shred the mom fight here. There's some trouble. Isaac! Isaac! All right. So since none of the enemies are actually charging me, they're just kind of standing there, which is the perfect enemy rotation I think to get. I mean, the Claudia is the only one that needs to sort of coming towards me. We were able to completely destroy Mom. There is, there is, luckily, I believe, from what I could hear there, 
a god room upgrade. So we're going to take the meat. That's a tears upgrade as well. Use the hermit. Teleport out. And let's swing our ass back down to check out the god room. And if we get sacred heart here, we win the game. So that's the hope. It's a, it's a minor hope. I'll take telepills, I guess, with us anyway, just to see. You never know what you could get later on. Maybe a devil room or god room in another floor. Or in the next floor is what I should really say. But we will take it with us anyway. It's going to be a god room. It's going to be the Bible. Let's pick that up. Put it uh, back down there and re-roll it to the miter. I guess we'll just take it. We don't have another reroll available to us, and I'm not that upset about it. <sighs> so, more spirit hearts for the win, I suppose. We do get an extra health out of that whole ordeal as well, just to the fact that... Oh, God, what is going on here? So let's, uh, let me just take care of this real quick. Alright, so Grey Junior should be pretty easy to beat once I have maneuverability. He has a pretty fast charge, no doubt about it. There that is. Uh, there's going to be a secret room right here, luckily we know about it. Uh, six coins in it is of course not exactly a fortune per se, but I say we use the secret room as kind of a junction, and we're going to check the other two possible routes. Speed upgrade. Let's come back for that. Um, so let's kill this eyeball here. We're gonna find the boss really quickly, and we're gonna go fight him. Maybe Daddy Longleg, which is fine. I'm not really that upset about Daddy Longleg. Not the greatest uh, boss of all time, anyway. So I'm not really upset about it. That's it for him. We roll. Gonna be a health upgrade. I guess we'll take it. I mean, we just keep taking him over and over again, as much health, health as possible. We do have an upgrade right here, just kind of, kind of waiting for us. I'm really upset that we didn't get a Joker or a Devil room there. Uh, Joker room. I don't think that's actually a type of room. Um, just upset we didn't get the Devil room. But we're gonna clear out a couple more areas here. Uh, if there's a library or something like that. We would like to find it. I doubt there is. But that's okay. Oh man, a nickel. Alright, so let's take out this this area here. We're going to be pretty much up to full health. We have a couple of uh, hearts with us here, but not that many uh, spirit hearts yet. But I think the miter and the relic together will add up quite a bit over the next couple rooms. So if we can you know, clear out a couple of rooms here and get a couple heart drops that might be spirit heart drops, then we might be uh, building up our health to disproportionate levels, and that could help us win very quickly, so let's hope that that is something that we can pull off. It's too bad we did not get another god room. I was really hoping we'd get one more. Since the next, of course, that was the last opportunity to get it anyway other than telepills of the Joker. We will use telepills on this floor here to just see if we have an opportunity to potentially get a devil room. Um, I doubt there is, but it's probably worth checking out, and we will re-roll this until it's an item of value. Able. I feel like I feel like I I still try to reroll that. Um, it's a it's a familiar that shoots backwards. It's not there's nothing wrong with it per se. I don't want to imply that there's anything specifically wrong with that familiar. It's just I don't know that it really helps me that much in the end game. I'd rather have like a tier upgrade or anything like that than you know have that. So. I think we hold off on that item there. So now is when uh, you know it's definitely nice to have flying, but I'm feeling you know the loss of oh man. So I'm guessing we probably take Abel now. Because we're gonna be able to roll out the library and potentially get some items out of there. So I'm taking I guess we take Abel. And we keep rolling, re-rolling the library instead. 
Um, but I didn't expect to get a library. I was, it was a pipe dream. And we ended up somehow pulling it off, so... This is a scary room. So let's go try it out. I don't know how many books are left. I know we picked up several over the course of the run. Um, there may not be that many left in the library, but if there is, um, then we may not have a chance to get anything of value out of this room. But uh, there is a small chance of rerolling the library here, and I think that that's something we got to play for. <clears throat> so uh, that's four books out of the pool right there. Um, I think there's only six or seven in my pool right now, so we may actually be pretty damn close to getting one or you know getting one of the items, or getting one of these, one reroll in, where we actually are able to get an item, um, instead of just a book. With a fortune. I don't know that we play it, but it's there in case we want it. Give infamy is a pain in my arsehole. There's literally no upside to the massive infamy in this game for me. Uh, even when you figure out how to beat them, they're still a pain in the ass. If the hearts didn't attack you, then it would be more balanced, I think. But the fact is that the hearts can also attack you, so you're trying to like dodge their bullets, as well as somehow manage to kill... As well as somehow trying to kill the um, the masks and you know prevent them from hitting you. So it's it's, it's a pain in the ass. I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought there. I was concentrating so thoroughly on trying to just avoid those lasers. Um, but yeah, basically the Masks of Infamy, not a big fan of that uh, of that enemy. And I call I call the Masks of Infamy, they're really not. Technically that's the name of the boss. Book of Sin, uh, we're going to get a heart, Red Heart we don't need. And this Cookbook, I think that's it. Um, but I could be wrong. But we got the Bible already, so I know that we have most of them out of there. So maybe we'll get one reroll on this over the course of this floor. And then we'll be able to uh, you know, pick up Abel before we leave and, and head out. I'm guessing that's probably how it's going to go. I'd imagine there's not much else on this floor to do as well, so we can kind of hopefully get a couple of, maybe get a spirit heart or two to make this whole thing worthwhile in addition to the library rolling. You can definitely check out the, uh, the arena room as well. At this floor in the utero or whatever, the arena rooms are easier in my opinion because they are like monstros and Larry Juniors. Which I think is the argument, it's supposed to be a boss, so it's supposed to be harder, but it's really not. It's actually easier, in my opinion, than facing a whole bucket full of mobs. Um, we are going to get a golden chest that could potentially have an item in it of some variety, so we'll open it up. It's not going to have an item. Okay, it's going to blow up one of the Larry Juniors for me, thank you very much. What a kind chest you are. Go about your days. And we're going to have Chubb as well, and we can finish off Chubb without too much issue, so not too worried about it. Picking up my items is fine. So we're just gonna go dead here. And we're gonna get a th oh a third level. It's gonna be double monster. I for some reason I thought there was only two levels in these arena rooms, but I guess I was wrong. Um, actually no, it's the mob. You're right. It's easy. Actually, it's the mob trap room. Now that I think about it. So the game is right, game, you are right, um, the arena rooms, this is technically an arena room and not a boss uh, arena room. Uh, the arena rooms only have three floors, the boss rooms have the two. So in this case, that actually makes sense, since this is technically an arena room, we're just getting bosses in it. Right, these little diglets have always been kind of annoying to me. I just, oh man, he popped up right under me? That's a little unfair.
And thanks to the relic there, we just picked up another spirit heart. Uh, I don't know how many I have. I might only have the one. I might have more than one. It's very difficult to tell with our current health situation. But I know I did take damage in that room, so it's possible that we are down to our last spirit heart. But we should have plenty more coming, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, we're only going to get one more reroll in this entire floor anyway, so I really don't have any issue with just finishing off the last floor to see if we got any consumables. We only got a 52 cent coin. Um, we have enough coins right now, though, that if we were to get a money equals power, we would be in a very good position. So that's something to consider, although I don't think we're going to be finding any of those over the course of this run. Um, it'd be nice. That'd be something that we could uh, kind of take advantage of there if we had it. Um, I wish we had the 29 bombs. I would blow up like every wall trying to find the top secret room. Unfortunately, we do not. Oh, and there was one more book. I was thinking we, did, thinking we might have been booked out. So that's fine. If we find a library on the next floor, which we may or may not, or in the cathedral, then we'll have that to uh, completely rolled out already. But if, if we don't, then, then we don't. But we've done everything we can on this floor. Not upset about the outcome. Oh, there you go. Eternal heart. It's always nice. No real issue there. I'll take Abel since I have no downside to taking it. As you can see, he just kind of shoots the opposite direction as me, which doesn't do too much for us, but doesn't really hurt too much. And then we have this last level here. Um, I guess we're just going to beeline right for where I, you know, right for the secret room. See if we can use that as a hub again to get to mom as quickly as possible without taking as much damage as possible. And I'm not worried about this floor so much. I'm a lot more worried about what might happen on the next floor. Uh, Cathedral is going to be a real test for us. I think that's going to be a real crucible. Mom's heart, if, assuming we get to it, I really, with the health we have left at the moment, uh, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I'm super worried about it because I'm not. Uh, I guess we'll just go here. I probably should put that in the right place. Isaac for a stubble button. Thank you very much, um, Isaac, for giving me this tiny ass room to deal with gluttony in. Appreciate it. Alright. I have no idea how many spirit arts I have, but I'm just gonna keep collecting. Because it feels right to do that. Alright, so this this is gonna be all about the old I'm gonna actually use Abel to kill my, my shadow self here. <laughs> I didn't even realize what I was doing until I was doing it. So maybe just for that, that was, that was kind of worth picking up Abel. Um, and we found the boss really quickly, which is exactly what I was hoping for. A spirit heart from the relic. And we should be able to take on Mom's heart without too much trouble. And by Mom's heart, I mean it lives, of course. Same difference. And I don't have much to say to these eyeballs, so let's just take you out. We're doing enough damage that I think we'll be okay. I guess these are bombs on us easily. But we're taking big chunks out of any enemy that we fight, so... heart. Downside of mom's heart, she doesn't actually leave any uh, item for us, but we're going to go up to the cathedral here. And this is kind of the worst place to be in. Let's play this a little bit. The Empress. Seems good to me. Oh man, don't blow me up. Shit. Let's, uh, let's use Telecles, actually. Well, that didn't really do anything for us. I was hoping it would take us to a better location than it did. Um, we don't have much in the way of bombs here, but I'm just going to bomb my way through to this side again. 
Um, and we're gonna come across uh, death here in this uh, mini boss room, which is kind of a pain in the ass, in my ass at least. I don't know if I'm doing anything, but I can see the annoying in my I can see the annoying factors here at play. So I'm gonna get rid of that as quickly as possible. The knights are very annoying. And come on, Death, don't stop stop spawning these zombie knight guys. So let's go all the way to the end here. Hopefully this is the way. If it's not, then we wasted a lot of time. Alright, these leeches are very annoying. That took a little more effort than I wanted it to, but that's okay. <laughs> right, so the only thing that's really going to help us here is the fact that we do have a full speed of orbitals. I think that that against Isaac. At the end here... Assuming that this is the way to Isaac, which it doesn't now look like it is. But, yeah, this is... I'm getting out of here. See you guys later, not worth my time. Um, so that's not the way to Isaac, that's really annoying. Um, essentially, I think that on Isaac, if we do get to him without dying, which is kind of a maybe at this point, or so it seems to be... I think that I think that we are in a good place as far as our protection is concerned with the uh, the current three orbitals that we have uh, should help protect us even though you know we're going to be firing at him non-stop pretty much. All right, it scares me that I have absolutely no idea how much life I have left. That's the curse room. It's probably nothing of value in there. It may not be worth the minor amounts of spirit arts that I actually have to check it out. It may be worth it, but I'm guessing it's probably not. Grab that spirit art from over here. It's a widow on literally every room right now. Which isn't upsetting to me because right now we're tearing her apart, but kind of funny that every single room that we're coming across has a widow with it. Um, Alright, so I think that we need to just get to the boss as quickly as possible. All this, this lollygagging, so to speak, is actually going to be exactly what kills us in the end if we keep doing it, because that's going to be, oh my god, not paying attention and too many enemies equals me taking stupid damage, which I really can't afford to do it. So I think that the more time we spend fighting these enemies in the cathedral here, and right now I'm just letting my, my flies do the work and hoping that I don't get hit by anything. Uh, the more time we spend in the cathedral, just, just wandering around, the longer it's going to take for us to... Oh god, this is not going to worse at all. These sickles not, are not a good thing. I'm just going to do the same possible as quickly as possible right here. Okay, now please, now that that's dead. Alright, so we are now out of spirit hearts officially. I can see my health bar. It scares me a lot, and we took a lot of damage in that fight, so that's probably why we defeated everything. Alright, you gotta stop. 
guy's creating more of these than, than I can even kill. Alright, so there's our two spirit hearts. We have two spirit hearts protecting us right now. A single chest does not seem like a good trade-off here. So, what might kill us in the end, what might be the end of us, so to speak, might be the fact that we actually had to go through the entirety of this floor to be able to get to the boss. We can't just go right to the boss. Uh, despite the damage, despite our build, we currently have a decent amount of health, but we have two spirit hearts, and now two spirit hearts alone, protecting our current health right now, and while that is a lot of health, it's, it's not really enough, I would say, to kind of weigh our entire fate on with the current build we have. If we had a different type of build, you know, if we had like an Epic Fetus build or an Epic Act build, let's say we were doing Golden, our current reliance on tiers here is actually going to hurt us, because Isaac, of course, does more damage the more tiers you do, and we're going to be using the Empress to try to do as much damage as possible, as soon as possible, so... As you can see, we're doing good damage, but we don't have a ton of health, so we need to be careful here. Since he's going to be launching a lot of tiers, and Abel is actually hurting us a little bit because of that as well. Alright, so we actually should win this. I'm not that worried about it anymore. I've ceased to become worried. We're doing enough tier damage here that I, I really don't have too much of a worry about the whole deal. I'd like to kill Isaac really quickly here and then take out the fetuses after. That's it for Isaac. We never actually reached our spirit heart threshold here. It's actually pretty impressive. So, on we go. Alright, so let's open these up here. We get the beam. Lard, PhD, and Ghost Baby. Take the lard, I suppose. We roll the rest. So we'll take Bloody Lust. I'll do that, I guess. One telecos. No idea where it just took me. So I'm actually using, I, I approve of the fact that I'm using the toe bombs against these guys, I'm fast enough to do it. Uh, Mr. Mega, we'll just take it, I don't have any downside to taking Mr. Mega. Thank you for giving me, putting me right there against the blow immediately in this, in this room here. Oh god. Holy Holy boss is that man. Luckily they're all very, very, very weak. Uh, the upside to the chest is that even though you're fighting bosses and things like that in these rooms, their health is not what you would expect it to be. So um, the damage is you can kill them pretty easily. It's not like they last forever. Like if they're always full full health bosses, I'm pretty sure. The chest would destroy anyone who wasn't like Brimstone Polyphemus at the time. But these are a little bit people. Still dangerous, of course, but a little bit more. Of course, we are lagging horribly right now. Um, I don't understand why, so to speak, but that's okay. Oh, two Iron Queens. That actually hurts a lot. That's going to be a painful thing to try to kill. Oh, God. Thank you, please. Thank you, God, this fucking fight.
Should have bombed my way out at the beginning. If you have any rooms like this with double carrying queens, I will not stay again. But that might might have done too much damage to me already. So let's try re-rolling these again. Splunker's hat and I don't really see those as improvements. Did I check this before? Nine coins, it doesn't really help me too much. Could bomb my way up this way. I'm out of bombs, which is definitely not good. Um, you kill the double chubs here. Yeah, it's not good because we can't bomb ourselves out of rooms anymore. And these double, these are double speedy chubs, which is really good. Really nice. They're like the mini version of chub. Who's ah. by there? So it's still giving me some love as far as that's concerned, but not as much as it used to. So I'm guessing <laughs> this is the way to go. Obviously Lust is the first one to go. I would like to kill Wrath second if possible, but I don't know if I'm going to have that option, so I'm not really going to worry about it. I'm just going to go right to the throat here. But I'm going to go for sloth first, if possible. Alright, that did work. So, we could potentially get some bombs here. I'd like to get a couple. Not only just for the last boss fight, which would also be nice, but to be able to blow up any walls or doors if the rooms are too difficult. Things aren't looking good for me here. Two monster twos. It seems like a lot of lasers. Stop with the, uh, the summoning. We're gonna die like right here on the chest. Well, it was a good run. I mean, even if we get to the, the boss fight here, there's no way we win it. Um, not with our current health at, as it is. We have two hearts left for the entire game here. Um, it surprises me that Monster 2 is the end of us. That seems like a little anticlimactic as far as that's concerned. I could bomb my way out at the point of this juncture. It's a moral victory to just kill Monster 2, in my opinion. So, what do we have? One, one fight against Gertie Jr. before we go here. Alright, let let's, just, let's just beat it, I guess. Like we could try our best to just fight. Uh, this version of Gertie Jr., I think, just spawns flies, so there's no actual, uh, no actual firing of any lasers or anything like that. So, he's dead. One more chance at the rerolls. See if anything comes up that's, you know, going to save us here. I don't think anything really could be much use to us, but... But I could be wrong. Harlequin Baby will take an upgrade of some variety. Mr. Boom. Doesn't really help us, I'm just going to blow our way through so we can only use one bomb to get across here and then we can avoid that spike room because I feel like bad things, like only bad things would happen if I go in there. And we're going to lose, I mean we have three hearts left for the entire game here, but we do have a full suite of orbitals and maybe, maybe, you know, a small chance of victory, but not much of one. We're already getting pretty much owned right now. Alright, 
so concentrating aside, the flies that he's spawning actually helped our, were helping me do more damage there. But I don't know how much help there really was in the end. We have virtually no chance to beat him at this point. Um, too many fetuses, too many tears, but... Your luck aside, we did a pretty good job on this run. Actually, holy shit. I cannot believe <laughs> we just won that with like a with like two and a half hearts. So that's gonna be it for the game. Uh an actual I think this is the first recorded win that I've had and I'm a little excited that it wasn't a brimstone run or anything like that. Um, long game. Glad for you guys that you know you stuck around for it. I know I enjoyed it, and I know I enjoy the fact that I actually just won. Um, it's definitely a good feeling. But uh, that's going to be pretty much it for this episode. If you like what you see, make sure to hit subscribe. Uh, you know, we're going to be more content coming out like this, I'm sure. And if uh, you hit that like button, it'll let me know that you like it. So make sure that you don't forget to do that too. Uh, for that, that being said, that is the end, and I'll see you guys later.